books is probably the best guest you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support, being able to take day by day, you know, on these work healing in every way, every shape, and every frequency that is up with you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now and need um, you know, confirmation or validation towards the life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation music I'm listening to is called Full Body Energy Healing Sound Waves. Tap into the universe energy, theta to delta waves. And I will post that link in the description box below. Ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. It came from a happy spot. Uh, my video today is like Twin Flame 101. Sometimes, uh, hey, Oka, sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step for our future and it is so true i forgot what his name is i think his name is sim sim tia sim tia uh i forgot what how was his last name is but he's like a motivational speaker he used to be a nfl uh football player that turned off uh turned around to be um you know, a motivated, motivational speaker. And he looks just like The Rock. That's what he was like. People always say I look like The Rock. I said I thought I was the only one. But he said some really good things. He was like that one that I did that content for either it's now or it's never uh, content. And I heard, read that from him. I said, you know what? It's sure right. Because it's just like at times we feel like the little things we do is not really important. But it's just all the way you look at it. Because like I tell people, I always give them that uplift. You know, because sometimes they, you know, a lot of times y'all need that. Because you're so used to people coming down on you. You know, trying to belittle you. Or, you know, throw negativity your way. Because they see you changing. They see you doing things. And, you know, a lot of people that, like I said before, have been in my life before. We just lost touch. It wasn't nothing bad or anything but you know they went their way I went mine and they find out what I'm doing I'm like hey I'm a motivational speaker for impasse um on YouTube and like, oh let me check that out and some of my friends were like wait a minute what happened to the Rosalind I used to know because <laughs> I used to be that one to quit cuss you out fight you know just just be out there because I always you know I was quick to react instead of actually stepping back and you know not allowing things to get towards me get to me like they used to and it's just like when you know you're starting to do things to make an impact because there was like when I first started this situation and it was just like a, a people really, you know, getting what I'm saying is, you know, because it's like Universal sent me to start doing these videos. And it was just like first, you know, I, I started doing this in the search of my mom and all these different things. But it's just like, you know, Universe and God source turned, get, threw me a curveball. I'm like, whoa, OK. I'm going this way and didn't know where it was teaching me and then I went this way and there's so many different you know things I was learning about myself that I truly didn't know that was not sitting with me and you know I'm like um what you know you place this on my life and I'm doing what now so it's just like when I know I was supposed to be set off doing one thing and you never know what that little small direction was you know I did not have the confidence in myself I was terrified not knowing how people were going to take me if they were going to believe me you know or was I saying making any sense to anybody and it took me a while because I felt like it was going to be like an overnight thing you know people were going to start subscribing to me whatever whatever but you know I was only doing like two or three videos a week and wondering why people weren't really getting me. They were like, no, you got to put out some more. I started doing a little bit more. And they were like, no, you got to do some more. So it's just like, 
you know, first I was doing it every other day and it, or, you know, at least about four times a week or whatever, or even three times a week. And things start gradually going and it's just like the more visions I got, the more things that came upon me that I was really digging. I'm like, okay, I need to do videos about this. And it's just start going and going and going. And then I start, you know, people start getting in contact with me. People start doing this and this and that. And I start seeing myself in a different light. And you never know. It's just like with your situation, have confidence in yourself. Even though if it's just a little bit, you know, you have to just, you know, when you when you look at the things that you're doing, you might not feel like it's a big deal. But it's just like you are not the person that started this you know this this journey you're not <laughs> I mean you start losing friends you start looking at things all differently things that you took interest in before is not being the same interest you took now and it's going to really take you some places it's just like there's so many things I want to do that I want to place the impact on the world in such a positive way and you know if I keep working on whatever I'm working on it's going to get there it really is it will get there it's just where right now I'm focused on what I want now. You know, there's things that, you know, I say I want to put in the works, and, you know, and I'm gradually working on that as well. So it's just like when I see the things that I'm doing and knowing each and every day, that I can give somebody a peace of mind to know that they're not alone. You're not going crazy. A lot of times, you know, things are placed on us to make, you know, there's doctors and therapists who want to place you with all these different mental illnesses, load you with all these daggone medications. They ain't going to do nothing except make it work, you know, make the situation worse than what it is. You know, that's why I tell people all the time, I'm like, hey, if you need to go seek professional help, and I'm not telling you you shouldn't, but I'm just saying, you know your body. Now, if you feel like you need to go see somebody, make sure you're seeing somebody that has empaths up under their belt while they're doing what they're doing. Because no normal doctor, you can't go see no normal doctor because you ain't normal. <laughs> you're not normal. You've been here a few times. Now, you're stuck in this daggone human suit and you're trying to feel, figure out how does it function. So when you start getting where you're at and seeing things for what they truly are, you just don't know what direction it's going to take you, in, you know, until you give yourself that chance to, you know, see what's out there, see what is more to meet the eye, seeing all the things that, you know, is gifted coming towards your way. You know, there's a lot of times you'll hear, you know, those little certain words in your head, like, I'm like, what the heck is this? And then I will write it down and then go look it up. I'm like, wow, okay. You know, it would be something that my dad might, might whisper to me. And, you know, he's been doing this for years. So it, it's just like, you know, doing what we got to do knowing we have a bigger purpose than we actually realize. Sometimes, you know, your, your, your world has to be shaken up a little bit before you can get on that right track. But it's just the fact is you, sometimes when you put things out, people might not congratulate you. You have to be able to congratulate yourself at times because some people are like, okay, you know, okay, that's nice. And I was just like, when y'all tell me you're doing things or Roz and I'm starting to see things in a different perspective, I think that is a blessing. I really do. You know, I'll give you that uplift and I ain't got time to be fake about it because I really feel when you can start making sense of your own daggone life and start to see your purpose, that's the biggest deal that you can possibly do because there's too many people walking around here that's okay with just being. <laughs> You're not that type of, that, the universe ain't gonna allow you to be just being. They're like, oh, you, you want to be like these regular folks? How about I just put that spiritual awakening in you and see if you can still function like you used to? No, because <laughs> you're starting to see things you done seen past the matrix. You portal jumping, you you folding dimensions. You there is no way that you can do that. But you you already got to know the little decisions that you make is gonna make a big impact towards your future. And it's just like I, you know, there's times that I can sit up here and tell people every day is a blessing. Every day is is a day for you to change and be the person you truly wanted to be. Even though there's so much hell that we got to go through at times, that's all right because that hell is going to teach you some things. You know, that hell is going to be, I mean, you don't, you don't went back and forth to hell so many times. You know, I seen a, a post the other day. Matter of fact, I might use it one of my thumbnails for whatever video I feel drawn to bring that towards. It's like they say religion uh, makes people, protects people from hell and spiritual is the part people that has been back and forth there, you know, has been there you know and i really feel that it's like no, no disrespect towards anybody who is religious but it's just the fact is I, i've been to hell a few times and it's just like you know the devil don't put a restraint or water on me i can't go back <laughs> you know it's just like uh, uh you know i mean it's just there's times i went to the dark side and had to help bring people back i mean i'm stuck you know stared at demons smelling sulfur all up in my nose and just like 
get the hell out of my face, you know, and just kept going. I've been there. I've done that. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's a blessing to be able to help other people. that are confused about the things that they go through. Um, being able to know there's better things that's out there. We just haven't, you know, touched base yet. But when you have that feeling that you know there's something coming, there's a lot of empaths saying, you know what, you know, things are coming, I don't know what it is, but it has you rearranging every thought process, every cell that goes through your body, everything is like rearranging to put you in a better standstill, you know, it's just like, it is what it is. But allow yourself to be able to make those little decisions because you never know those little decisions going to make a big impact on your life. Trust and believe. You know, when you start knowing that your life is has more than what it's, you know, what they try to program to tell you what your life has means for, the better off you'll be. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to y'all. I noticed that a lot of my videos have been like 15, 20 minutes long. I'm like, well, shoot. I be having a lot of stuff to say towards that, but hey, a blessing and a blessing and a lesson is a lesson. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. Let me know if you resonate. I'm trying to find my um my thing for my shout outs. Um, but yes, much love to you. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I'll greatly hear from you, you know, so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out on my next video. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'm giving a post notification shout out to K Dropping Gems. Much love to you, boo. And um, Truth Seeker Goddess 44 Kid. And I will post that link. I mean, I'll post that link. Y'all, I'll see y'all in my next video. Much love to you. Peace and be well.